In 2018, Base 11 launched the $1 million Base 11 Space Challenge. And I wanna show you now the short 90 second video that we used to launch the challenge in Compton, California, and to invite university teams from across the country to join this challenge. Welcome to Base 11's $1 million Space Challenge. We're looking for the first university rocketry team who can build and launch a liquid fuel rocket that can reach an altitude of 100 kilometers, the edge of space. Space launchers like SpaceX's Falcon Heavy have captivated our imaginations to dream of a new age in space travel. The opportunities are endless, but there's a huge problem. Several aerospace companies have told us that as much as 50% of their engineers will be eligible for retirement in the next 10 years. But graduates often have to spend their first five to seven years getting their real world training on the job before they can start adding value the current model is just not working. That's why we've launched the Base 11 Space Challenge, to empower hundreds of participating students nationally with the mindset and skills that are most in demand by employers of the 21st century, and to establish a strategic talent pipeline model, enabling industry, academia, philanthropy, and government to break down the silos and start working together to develop the talent we all need to succeed. So what can you do to help open up space as a new frontier for mankind? Are you a university faculty, administrator, or student? A leader in aerospace, tech, or philanthropy? Join us as a member of the Space Challenge. Welcome back. And wow, I just have to say the excitement and the enthusiasm for the Base 11 Space Challenge has been so evident. However, with our clear goal to identify diverse populations as part of this program, we identified the need to expand this opportunity. You heard some of Leland's stats earlier. Um, and basically, as you may know, there aren't many African Americans enrolled in aerospace programs at traditional colleges and universities. So we focus on efforts on historically black colleges and universities or HBCUs. We raised $1.6 million to create a first of its kind aerospace and industry rocketry program at an HBCU. Through a very competitive grant process, we narrowed the finalists down to four, Tuskegee University, Fisk University, North Carolina A&T University, and Morgan State University. While well, all the submissions were exceptional, the ultimate winner was Morgan State University. Since that time, Morgan State has built upon the success of the award, forging an impressive partnership with Purdue University. To share more about this, I would like to first introduce Dr. David Wilson, president of Morgan State University. Dr. Wilson is the 10th president of Morgan State. He has an extensive record of accomplishments and more than 30 years of experience in higher education administration. Presenting alongside Dr. Wilson is none other than Mitch Daniels. Mitch Daniels is the president of Purdue University. He is the 12th president there and the former governor of Indiana. In recognition of his leadership as both a governor and a university president, Daniels was named among the top 50 world leaders by Fortune Magazine in 2015 and was elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 2019. Welcome both of you. Thank you. So President Wilson, let's start with you. Tell me how this HBCU Aerospace Workforce Development Grant and subsequently this partnership became a game changer for Morgan State. Uh, oh, absolutely. First of all, let me express uh, my congratulations to uh, Langdon uh, Taylor for uh, being the founder of uh, Base 11. Uh, I have been truly inspired this morning as I listen to uh, these incredible stories from young people, and I'm always inspired when I listen to the story of uh, Leland uh, Melvin. Uh, but I know <laughs> we won that $1.6 million grant. It truly was a game changer for us because we at Morgan, we have a long history uh, of being uh, successful and charting out graduates in STEM fields. Uh, we are number one in the U.S. in producing African-Americans in civil engineering and industrial engineering and 
uh, electrical engineering, um, and in the STEM fields as well. In this particular state, when my faculty saw uh, that incredible launch video <laughs> that you just saw, uh, they took office and said, okay, you know, President Wilson, we can do this. Uh, but they were so inspired, and, and, and they were inspired because they believed in our students, and then they saw those statistics, and they knew that although we had been as prolific as we had been uh, in these other fields of engineering, we had not been that kind of prolific in aerospace and aeronautics. And so, um, and so I said, okay, well, go for it. what do you mean for me? And they indicated, and of course, we gave them what they wanted, uh, and then we won. And when we won, uh, and we had that amazing ceremony here uh, in 2018, uh, the campus was just the most. Uh, it was just incredible uh, to see all of the excitement on the faces of our amazing students and the faculty who actually made it happen. And then uh, we had a partner, uh, and uh, the team looked far and wide, uh, and that partner, of course, uh, was a natural fit for uh, working. We were so excited when they came back with a recommendation that we wanted to partner with Purdue. Um, Purdue um, came to us uh, as a natural partner for so many reasons. So uh, the first, of course, was that uh, Mitch, um, in 1995, you know, uh, Purdue uh, actually was the um, uh, was, was the founder of uh, the Society of Black Engineers. You know, when uh, uh, six students at Purdue got together and and, and, and so, but that kind of history in STEM, uh, and then given the fact that you have in your school of uh, aeronautics and astronautics, one of the top schools in the country and top program in the country, um, we just felt this was a natural fit. Uh, and so um, I'm in the middle of a Board of Regents meeting here at Morgan, uh, and in a half hour, the board will approve uh, our um, joint collaborative degree program with Purdue, we're very excited about that, uh, where students here at Morgan who are in engineering physics and in um, civil engineering who spend three years here, who also want to Purdue, uh, want to pursue the BS degree uh, in uh, aerospace engineering at Purdue. Then they go to Purdue after that junior year, they stay there two years, and then they get two degrees. They get the degree from Morgan, and then they get the degree from Purdue. And so uh, we are working with college and are saying, uh, let's make sure that we are producing the kind of talent in this field that can diversify it and be a part of that $2.7 trillion industry going forward. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Wilson. Um, a lot of uh, accolades there for Purdue and your historical experience in this space. So important question for me, President Daniels, is how did the Morgan State-Purdue partnership become a game changer for Purdue? It did, and Ingrid, in every, in every sense of the word, let me start by uh, saying what a personal uh, honor, but more importantly, an uh, institutional honor it is for uh, uh, Purdue University to have been chosen to be Morgan State's partner and base 11 and DeSoto's partner in this, uh, in this terrific endeavor. Uh, we have, have been in the, uh, if you want to, it's not a game, of course, but to use that metaphor, we've been in the space game at Purdue as uh, probably no other university has for a very long time. I appreciate Dr. Wilson um, and recalling that the uh, minority engineering uh, program now has chapters all over the country, was born at this school. But uh, we've been involved in, this, in, in uh, space from its inception. No university has more astronauts. We've produced 25, including one in the current wow. class. One third of all the manned uh, uh, space flights that have ever left the United States uh, had at least one Boilermaker on board. Uh, so uh, uh, we're very, very proud of that program. Uh, you visit NASA, you visit any of the space companies, uh, you will find uh, a Purdue grad every uh, 10 feet, uh, most people tell me. Now, with all that, one part of the, let's say, game at which we are uh, have been frustrated and have not done well enough is the, uh, the uh, successful recruitment and preparation of enough uh, uh, students of uh, young people of color, first generation students, low income students. We've been working very hard on this. We've started our own uh, high schools, Purdue Polytechnic High Schools. Uh, minority and low income students uh, who will 
uh, pursue STEM careers. Um, and um, the program with Morgan State, it just fits directly into uh, this ambition that we have to do much better uh, in this in this area. We've got a lot of experience with the kind of three plus two programs that, that Dr. Wilson just uh, mentioned. Uh, and we just know they're going to be successful. We are very excited about welcoming outstanding young men and women from Morgan State to our campus to to add a, a Purdue degree to what they're uh, doing now. And and by the way, uh, we're looking forward to uh, 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 supporting the rocketry program and, and uh, helping uh, let uh, that the great success. Uh, let's call it get off the ground. Yes, sir. And we're looking forward to. <laughs> well, thank both of you gentlemen. I mean, it sounds like such an amazing partnership, the start of an amazing partnership, and I cannot wait to see what comes after all of the work that we are going to be doing together.